Hello Star Wars friends and Star Wars fans around the world and welcome to another video. Now this is one of my videos, it's a tutorial video. Now anyone that's thinking about collecting Star Wars food packaging needs to think, you know, I'm, I've got to preserve this, it's got to, I, you can't keep the food in the packaging. So if you're keeping cans over, over a period of time, the can will deteriorate and leak. So whether it's small, tiny holes that start to appear, whatever you've got in your can, whether it's beans, spaghetti hoops or soup, that is going to leak out at some point and uh, you really don't want that leaking across your collection, it's going to ruin stuff. So you need to get the, you need to get the contents out of the can, you need to do it in a way that you don't destroy the label or the can and then you need to preserve the can the, to the best of your ability. So, in my collection, some of my cat I've been collecting Star Wars stuff for 40 years now. Let's not, let's not go into how old I feel. Um, I've been collecting Star Wars stuff for a long time now, and I have kept all of my Star Wars cans, whether they're tin cans, as in fizzy pop cans, um, or whether they're sort of um, spaghetti or baked bean or soup cans. I've been keeping them all in the same environment all of the time. And uh, some have got a little tiny bit of rust on them and others are absolutely as perfect as the day they came home from the store. So it's, it's weird what sort of atmospheric and room conditions will affect the tin. So that I can't help. Um, I can, you, you can say, yeah, well, you have it in, a, in a, a perfect kind of balanced environment. You know, I can't do that. I don't have, I don't have the room and I don't have the money, unfortunately, to create that sort of perfect environment for my collection to be in, which is sad, but I, there aren't that many collectors out there that can afford to do that. So, you know, we're in a, in a majority of collectors when we can't afford to do, but we can, Take a, take a few little tips and uh, we can learn how to not damage the items as you're opening them in the first place. That's a biggie. So uh, as I always say, when you're first collecting, buy multiples of something. So for instance, the Cross and Blackwell cans, the small cans at the bottom of the stack there, um, buy multiples, practice how you're gonna open them. Take my tips. You might develop your own your own ideas to how to do this, and um, you you might come away thinking, yeah, I'll use your idea, but I can actually develop that into something much more suitable for me, um, a much better idea. If you come up with great ideas, please please share them with the collecting community because uh, we we all try to preserve our collections and keep our collections as best we possibly can can oh dear and um so it's great to share ideas with people and it's very much appreciated i'm learning new stuff all the time i don't know everything i'm far from it so what i do know i am more than happy to share and if i it, my ideas develop um that's fantastic they come back to me better and more even even better fantastic i love that so uh, right here goes what i'm trying to achieve is now these the two top cans the campbell's cans my boss um, from the us she brought this over for me and these are already done so as you can see the bottom of the can has been removed it does have a ring pour now some people might think that do you know what i'm just gonna pop that off empty the contents out and that's going to sit on my shelf if you look at it like that you'd never you'd never ever know especially if you've got a tray a packing tray that came in if there's a packing tray on top of that as well you're never going to know that you just pop the ring pull open so that is the most simple most efficient way of doing it you're not going to damage the label you're not going to cause any problems to the tin and you have a tasty um, Campbell SpaghettiOs treat as well. So that's the most simple way. Uh, I like to remove the bottom of the tin. Now, depending on the tin, this this kind of, uh, this is where it gets interesting. I'll move this one as well. Um, now these are the Campbell's tin, not Campbell's, the, yeah, oh, they're Cross and Blackwell, these tins. So come down here. And so at the moment, that's a full tin. Now this is the um, pasta shapes, tomato sauce with sausages. There we go, look at that, there you go. Uh, it's a really cool packaging design. So you have Chewy and Yoda. It's a really nice design, I like this. And I've managed to pick up from the store a tray that they came packed in. So that says Star Wars all the way around it. So that looks great on my shelf. And that's how I want it to look on my shelf, just like it came straight from the store. 
Now, this is, these are full tins apart from this one. This is one I've already done. So I'm going to show you how I achieved that, that finish. So, first of all, actually, first of all, here is the full tin. And here's the tin opener. Now, some tin openers will, as you're going home, I won't demonstrate on the tin just yet, but when, as you click onto the tin, some tin openers with this part here will gouge into the label. And as you go around the tin, cutting through, you're actually tearing the label all the way around and you're leaving a jagged edge. So this is what I mean about practicing. So you've got to find the right tin opener that works for you to give giving the best results. And you've got to find you know, your, the best technique. Now, what I'm gonna share with you now is my technique for doing this. So flip the can over with the bottom end facing up. Now, with the tin opener, I'm not, this is, right, okay, so it's hard to get on camera. Right, so, that's the tin opener where you'd normally have it, so you've got this resting right up against the can. What I do, I start off with the tin opener away, ever so slightly, and then clip in. So, that's it, it's in. So I haven't hit the label with that cog there. So, let's give it a go, I hope this works. All right, so give that a twist. Now, I don't know if you can see, but that's the, that's the can opener resting against the tin. That's me, I've turned it out slightly. So I've got the, re the can is resting on a flat surface. This is important. So you can use that, fles that flat surface to bend the tin opener away, so the, away from the can, and then start to turn the handle. Now, as you're going, you can kind of sometimes hear when it hits the paper label, you can hear a sort of noise, and it's like a, oh, it's a horrible noise, and you think, oh, the label gone. So I'm getting to the end now. That's it. Go back over that again, just to get that out. And keeping that bent out all the time. Right, now, hopefully, the lid's come off nice and clean, that's good. I did notice there's a tiny little nick in the label. So, I don't know if you can see, just there, right, that's where the tin opener made first contact with the tin when I clipped it in, so there is a tiny little nick. So it's not perfect, but that is pretty good. I'm really happy with that. So then the contents comes out. <laughs> this is, oh. This doesn't always come out. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> oh, that's gross. So, um, there you go, there's, there's the contents. Oh my goodness. These are in date as well. Just, just imagine if it was um, a, one of my out of date tins. Oh. Right, so this is spaghetti and sausages. Mmm, tasty. So yeah, you've come in with this one large gelatinous sort of um, can shaped blob. So you can, you can eat that if you like. <laughs> pass thanks very much so <laughs> I'll pass on that for now but you know uh, so what you're left with is a can full of ick and residue so that needs cleaning now you don't want to submerge the whole thing in hot soapy water because you're going to lose your label it's going to affect the label the label will either break apart dissolve or just not be as nice as it used to be. So what you need to do is get some hot soapy water and tip it into there, swish it round a few times, clean it, tip it out, being careful not to run the contents and the, the residue down the side of the label, because that can stain the label, it can mark the label, and um, it, can, it can wreck the label. So then you wanna get some kitchen towel and get round there and get any remaining residue out so you can give it another wash, repeat, <laughs> wash and repeat a couple of times, and then finally get a bit of antibacterial spray, spray that in there, go right round with a bit of kitchen um, towel, clean it all out again, and then that's it. You leave it to air dry. So you leave it to <laughs> leave it somewhere in the house where it doesn't annoy your partner too much, if you have a partner, and um, eventually it's going to be air dry, and you're left with that. Now.
despite lots of repeated washings, that uh, sort of uh, orange tinge to the tin does remain on, on some cans. Not always, but it did in this case. So, but that has been repeatedly cleaned. So there you go, guys. I hope that helps. Um, that is my tutorial on how to open and preserve a, uh, a Star Wars tin can. Now, if you've got any other tips for me, please contact me. Please share your videos with me. Uh, I love seeing new techniques, different techniques. You might have a different way that works even better. And um, I'd, I'd love to see new ideas, so please get in contact. As always, my links are down below. So if you want to contact me through Twitter, there's two Twitter feeds below, and there's also Instagram, where I uh, you'll find loads of really fantastic pictures of my um, Star Wars collection, which uh, a lot of the, a lot of that doesn't make it onto YouTube. So um, get on Instagram, have a look there, and also Twitter. So until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's very much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and click like. Drop a comment down below and contact me through Twitter and um, Instagram. Until next time. May the force be with you and bye for now.